The Hispanic Chamber of Commerce recognized the successes of Latinas in Kansas City. There was a big awards event Monday night. Fabian Shepard was a volunteer with the Chamber, still is. And one of the honorees from Monday, Valerie Coyazo, who is Supply Diversity Manager with KCPNL, uh, joins us as well. And you were awarded the Philanthropy Award. Congratulations Thank to you. Thank you very much. I know you don't want to brag on yourself, but you <laughs> have to tell us, this is really important to you to really make a difference. What are some it things is. that you did? Well, some things that I've done for the community, for especially for the Hispanic Chamber, is I have worked with their Kansas City Biz Fest. In Kansas City Biz Fest, we take about 100 students every year, mm -hmm. put them through a five-day youth entrepreneurship program, wow. teach them how to write a business plan, how to dress for success, and then they present at the end and we give out scholarships. That's incredible. Yeah. So that's just Great. one of many this things that you do in the community yeah. and, mm -hmm. and you really do try to help a variety of charities. I do. Um, I also work with going to the dogs. We provide police <laughs> vests. <laughs> we provide vests for uh, the dogs so that oh. uh, they won't get shot and won't get hurt. Okay. And so we have done that for over 26 dogs in the Kansas City area in the last few years, and we're still striving to do more. We have bought dogs, part of dogs, half of dogs, uh -huh. uh, at kennels, the hot and spots for the dogs, and oh. so we're very proud of that. So any police officers listening, if you need a hot and spot, give us a call at Going awesome. to the Dogs. Yeah. Uh, we've also worked with Latinas of Tomorrow here in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. It's also a program that we do uh, monthly where the youth come in, we talk to them about how to write a resume, how to do a business plan, mm -hmm. how to dress for success there also, and we also take them to UMKC and work with them on their SAT tests. Oh my so, gosh, yeah. so no, no wonder she got the award. <laughs> Congratulations, you do Thank do. You so so many things and so many young people in the community benefits from all of this because they become adults, they become successful, they're working, paying, you know, thriving in the community, strengthening families. It's all important. Was this the first event, the first award ceremony? This actually was something that was revived. Okay. It, it, it okay. occurred many years in the past and the uh, president of the chamber when moving to a new location discovered some information mm -hmm. and said we need to keep this going yeah. and yeah. it's really important uh, I'm on the Johnson County side mm -hmm. and so I'm involved in a lot of encouraging Latinas over on that side of the state line and Valerie mentioned BizFest which mm -hmm. actually takes place at Johnson County Community College mm -hmm. I'm the father of five daughters um, wow. So I, I, I encourage <laughs> Latinas to be engaged and yes. be involved in STEM activities and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So it was really a thrill for me to participate in honoring mm -hmm. these women who were so deserving of it too. Yeah, there were so many awards that were given. What are some of the other ones? Philanthropy. Um, entrepreneurship yes. was, was a big one. Mm -hmm. The Lifetime Achievement Award winner, Cece Rojas, mm -hmm. who I know you're familiar with her, and she was very engaged in, and part of getting the National Football League mm -hmm. uh, in Mexico and, and the in the Mexican and Hispanic community, oh, um, yeah. Cece couldn't make it. She's got a really cool excuse for not being here. <laughs> um, <laughs> All right. and, and then Denise, what did Denise win from Cerner? Um, it won the uh, Philanthropy Award. They had them for the Health Award. Yeah. Oh, Health, health and mm -hmm. Fitness. Mm -hmm. So this is important to recognize yes. Latinas mm -hmm. uh, because it encourages people to be active, to do mm -hmm. things. And, yes, and it's yes. not that they're doing it to be rewarded, but it's a, just a nice warm fuzzy to help them, you know, give them that push to keep going. Don't mm -hmm. stop because it can yes. get lonely and yes. disappointing sometimes. As you know, young ladies need, they need those they positive can, examples yeah. to be able to see that, you know, yes, there's still a glass ceiling, but it can get smashed pretty oh, easily. Love it, love it. <laughs> Congratulations to you. Thank you so much Thank for reviving you. that uh, with the Hispanic Chamber. We're so excited about that.